Let's celebrate. All right, I'll have a beer and you can have a snobby French one. Mike, Mike, I am so happy that you decided to come back to Street Jeans, and I will celebrate with you anytime. All right, let's go. Will you please answer my question first? Now, do I have Katie to thank for this, or is this one of those I must desperately cling to you because I am so tempted by my ex things? More that first one. Good. Maybe. Maybe the second. No. Katie did push my buttons. You know, I, I, I'm not proud of that, but yeah, I probably changed my mind because of her. Right, but I still meant it. I don't want to work with you again and everything else. Right, does, does it matter how it happened? Well, it depends on which buttons Katie pushed. Hey, you're early. Oh, and you are late. I have been sitting on that bar stool for six months waiting for you. Look at you. You look great. Thanks. So do you. <laughs> yeah. Now, where where have you been? What's been going on? You have not written to me. You have not called me. And where is that big Aussie lug that you married? Why don't you sit down? We have a lot of catching up to do. Do we need martinis? We do. I can tell something's going on. We definitely need martinis. I never went to Australia with Simon. Where have you been? Mostly in Europe with my mom. What about Simon? I divorced him. We don't need martinis. This calls for champagne. You could totally do this cashier's job. Aaron practically managed Metro. And they had one of those computerized cash registers. This is a piece of cake compared to that. Can you operate a cash register? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Job's yours, if you want it. Bob hasn't told anyone that you faked the drug test. How do you know? Because I caught up with him at his conference before I set this meeting up. He did not report what you told him. So the only thing the hospital has against me are the incident reports. Which are inconclusive at best. I can't believe that Bob is sitting on this information. Obviously, he believes in you. Okay, so you made a mistake faking your own test. But that doesn't have any bearing on your performance in the operating room. Whatever happened to Aaron Snyder was not your fault. Oh, with all due respect, Counselor, I'll be the judge of that. Are you sure that no one saw you go into Fairwinds? the car next to the woods behind the house and use the service entrance so the key i gave you still worked i went up the back stairs up to the attic and that's where i found the box the christmas box with cabot's little stocking you've done well emily mm. and we've become good friends Thanks to you, very soon, Will is going to leave Fairwinds and come home to me, where he belongs. Somebody took Cabot's Christmas stock and put it up on that mantelpiece, Will. Oh, man. What's this thing you've been doing in this house? I saw it when I went up to the attic to get the other Christmas stuff, but I left it up there, Paul. I, I knew Rosanna wouldn't want to see it. Yeah, well, it didn't walk down here and, and put itself up on the mantelpiece, Will. Somebody put it there. And you think it was me? Fine. I'm out of just made assumptions such as 
It's nothing. I... Mike, please, more words, okay? Wh what did Katie assume? I don't, I don't know. It's just, she, she just seemed too surprised that I'd done modeling in the first place. Why? Because it wasn't me. I, which I've said myself how many times, but it, it's like to her, I'm a contractor. That's it. That's all I'll ever do. You know, it, it, she thought she'd come back and everything would be exactly the same. I'd be, I'd be exactly where I was. Good old Mike. Well, that's not fair. People change. They decide to do other things. But you know what? If I hadn't met you and started modeling, she'd be right. I hate that. <sighs> Me too. I... I'm so glad you decided to come back to Street Jeans. You have a talent. Let's use it. All right, I'll put on the jeans. I'll take the pictures, whatever. Okay, but don't call it talent. I just, I just stand there. Mike, do you have any idea how hard it is to just stand there with lighting and people and still be yourself? Not to mention the fact that you sell tons of my jeans and make money for my company, which keep tons of people employed. It's true. Okay, so, so I, I feed the hungry and make the world a better place. Basically. Can I just do it because it's fun being around you? Yeah, that works too. Hey, I, I know that Katie got to you. And it's okay. I understand if there are still feelings there. Katie and I are over. All right, she is married and I have moved on. That's it. Then I guess I should thank her for sending you back to me. I never left you. It's too early for champagne, and I'm not really feeling very bubbly. Are you still in the brooding, weepy phase of the divorce? You did say divorce, right? Good. I just wanted to make sure before I chortle. Katie, 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 that man was wrong for you in ten different ways that Uncle Henry will outline for you at length if you want. Now, look, let the healing begin. Henry, I'm, I'm okay with the divorce. Oh? You didn't come back to nurse your wounded heart or... Uh, Regain your strength? No. Mike. You came back from Mike. No, I came back because my brother Craig is missing. You came back to not find your worthless brother? No, no for Margot. Mm -hmm. She's worried about him. And it's the holidays. I want to be with Margot and Tom and Casey. And Mike. And you. And Mike. And the Hughes and Allison. Mike. And Lucy. Mike. And Rosanna and yeah. all the people that I work with. The dry cleaner misses you too, Katie. Yeah, stop, also... stop, stop, stop. You're down to the rabbit. And Snickers is not talking to you. Snickers expected at least a postcard. Have you seen Mike yet? Oh, yes. Every bit of him. Straight out of the shower. I should tell you to stop, but I want more. All right, well, how's this? Jennifer Munson, also dripping in Mike's bathrobe. Whoops. Yeah. Margot told me that Mike wasn't seeing anyone, so imagine my surprise when I see him kissing Jennifer outside of the Christmas tree place. So I thought, well, Margot must have been wrong. So I go to Margot, I tell her you were wrong, and she says, no, 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 I don't think so. Why don't you go over to Mike's and tell him how you feel? Oh, yeah. How'd that work out? I just told you, Henry. Jennifer was there. Yes. Uh, dripping wet. I have the image. Um, so, uh, so it was awkward, and then she shed a few tears, she got dressed, and, uh, then she left you and Mike alone together. Not exactly. Katie, you told Mike, right? Told him what? That you came back for him, that you made a huge mistake, that you'd love him forever? Of course I didn't. What did you say? You didn't tell him you just happened to be in the neighborhood, did you? No. No, you didn't. It gets worse. No, no it can't. It can't. I told him that Simon and I were ecstatically happy together. <sighs> Can we have a minute? Just me and Allie? Sure. Thank you. Did you forget that I'm the one-armed man? You can run a cash register with one hand. It's perfect. Yeah, okay, Aaron, it's not metro, but it's not permanent either. It's just to get you a little cash before you your arm heals. You can do this job, Aaron. I don't know if I can do this, Allie. Well, give it a try. Now? Yeah, go on and try. And if you hate it, if it's weird, then that's it. But if you like it, you can keep the job just until you get something better. What do you have to lose?
Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Come again. I will. Okay. I bet she'll be back here tomorrow looking for you. Well, I'm gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? I'll take the job. Great. Can you start tomorrow at 7? I'll be here. I start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I almost want to start right now. Well, we don't have to go home yet. Your dad wanted us to stop by. My dad? I don't know. I mean, the kids, Luke and Faith, they... They, they haven't seen me like this out of the hospital, Molly. I don't know if I should go. Like they'll notice. They're putting up the Christmas tree today. You're right. Let's go. Let's go and have some fun. Okay. Thank you. So I, I've reviewed your statement on Aaron Snyder's surgery. You were there. I did everything by the book. You were visibly nervous. You snapped at the OR staff. You snapped at me. It was my first procedure after a long time off. Yeah, you weren't sure that you were up to it. You tried to call in Dr. Ramirez. John, I always call for backup when I think a case is going to be tricky. Yeah, and it turned out to be, didn't it? What do you think happened? I don't know. I can only tell you what I did. There were other people assisting. Ben, you're not going to try to foist this off on some scrub nurse. Who was holding the scalpel, Dr. Harris? Okay, right, doctor, but... my client has answered your questions concerning his actions. Under the circumstances, it's not up to him to evaluate the rest of the no, staff. No, no, you don't have to worry about that. We're going to do that ourselves. But I think the hospital is going to be facing a huge lawsuit here. And your client could be very helpful in saving us time and heartache. How's that? By telling us what happened. Like not what, what's, what's not in this report, what none of the rest of us saw that day, what you did, Ben. I already told you. We've got a young man here who may be partially paralyzed for the rest of his life from an injury that didn't have to be that way. This could have been successful. I mean, any of us that look at the MRIs or read the preliminary report can see that. This didn't have to happen. Okay, uh, we're done here. Do you think that Bob Hughes is going to protect you when this thing becomes ugly and expensive? Because it will become both. This case doesn't add up, and you're the guy with the missing piece. So nobody else drove on the property. All right, look, I, I know that the gate is always locked, but from now on, could we please make sure that there is always someone in the gatehouse also? Thank you. Here are my keys. Whoa, whoa. No, I, what, are you, what are you doing? I know what you think, all no, right? No, you don't. Yeah, and for your information, I was at Al's diner yeah. with Dad when the stocking got I home. know that. Is that what you were checking on right no, now? No, I was making sure that there wasn't somebody else on the property. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second, please. Don't go. How can I stay here, Paul? You think I'm torturing your wife? No, I don't. Look, I'm just trying to figure out what happened, OK? Phyllis wasn't here, none of the staff was here. You and me and Rosanna were the only people in the house. And I'm the only one fresh out of the psych ward, so guess who we blame? <sighs> I didn't say that. You didn't have to. All right, hold on a second. Please don't go, all right? I, I, I need your help. You don't mean that? Yes, I do. Well, look, I know that you didn't do this, all right? But that means that somebody else did, so please help me find out who that is, please. Okay, but who? Well, who would have motive to... Gaslight Rosanna. And want you to think that I did it. Okay, well, let's go through some of the some of the possible outcomes, okay? If Rosanna does think that you did it, maybe Rosanna is upset and asks you to leave, or maybe you get upset and leave on your own. Anyway, everybody's upset, so maybe you stop trusting me. Maybe a wall goes up between the two of us. You suddenly are not as close to me as Mom. you once were. You cannot let Mike think you're happily married to Simon. It's for the best, Henry. No, no, it isn't. The best is for you and Mike to finally be together. We weren't meant to be, okay? He's happy. I, I could tell that, and he deserves that. What is that? What is that? Is that the last act of Camille? What? Now you'll be wandering the streets of Oakdale alone and forlorn because you, you nobly didn't tell Mike the truth, and now you'll just withdraw to suffer in silence? Uh, what, you think I'm playing the martyr? Yeah, I, well, the only thing that's missing are the violins. You're so wrong, And you know wrong, you're going to start Henry. developing a wasting cough now. I can just feel oh, it. Oh, And I will not make you hot toddies, all right? Let's shut up, okay? I tried. 
I went to Mike before I left, and I tried to tell him that I left Simon and that I loved him. And you know what he said? He had already written us off. He said it wasn't meant to be, no matter what. Because he thought you were leaving with Simon. No, Henry. Yes. He meant it. No, I was here, Katie. I saw him. He was one miserable hound, okay? Mike missed you. He still loves you. And if you don't jump in there and tell him the truth, you're going to blow the chance for you two to be happier than you've ever been in your lives. But he's happy with Jennifer. He found someone else to love. How do you know it's love? He slept with her. Okay. <laughs> well, what does that mean? I mean, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything ex except, except with you, of course. No guy would ever... Oh, yeah. So. Well, I know Look, what you're oh, saying. All right, Catherine, just listen to me. Sometimes it's not love. Sometimes it's Tuesday. Not with me. So what am I supposed to do? He's finally found someone else, so I just stroll into town and make him choose? I can't do that to him. To him or to you? Is this because it's for the best? Or is it because you think he might choose Jennifer? Hey, listen, you've, you've got to tell Mike how you feel. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it every day for the rest of your life. You know why? Because there's not a snowball chance in hell that he won't choose you. Here's a chance. What? Hey. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, are you crying? Yeah, she is. She is crying. Why don't you tell him why you're crying, Katie? Go on. I was just telling Henry that I miss Simon so much. Well, I was hoping you'd be a little bit more cooperative. Tonight. You're looking for something that isn't there, Doctor. It's all going to come out in court. Who says there's going to be a court case? Nobody's filed a lawsuit. Not yet. But I feel sure the Snyders will, will sue. And when they do, the hospital is just going to be hanging out there, twisting in the wind. John, I have been over that surgery in my mind a thousand times, step by step. I didn't make a mistake. Ben, fine, if that's your position. No, it's not my position. It's the truth. Then I can't help you. Oh, you're trying to help us here, John? How did I miss that? <laughs> fine, we're done here. So what happens next? Well, I'm going to take it up with Bob when he gets back, and we'll just keep digging and digging. we got to be ready when the family comes for us. Wait. What's this? My letter of resignation. My boys, come on in. Your ankle bracelet. What? The alarm that's on your ankle. Make sure that you don't leave this cage. I want to see it. Why do you want to see it? We know, Mom. You've been sneaking into Fairwinds, leaving sick little presents for Rosanna. It wasn't Barbara. You know something about this? Yes, I do. Coming up on As the World Turns. Watching Mike walk off with Jennifer totally bites. She's back. And we really don't have to say a word. There's no need to defend me. we become very good friends. You and my mother? Word, there's no need to defend me. We've become very good friends. You and my mother? We've become very good friends. So there is no need to try to drag Emily into this vendetta you have. Did Barbara sneak me. out of here and go and go to Fairwinds? No. No. No, I did not. I have been locked in this place for weeks, and Emily knows that. Let's see my ankle. 
little bracelet? Here it is. It's right here. And I'll tell you something. You can call the police if you don't believe me. Because you know why? This thing sets off alarms in four counties Emily. when I take one step out of here. You okay? Mm -hmm. No, she's not. She's had the flu. She does not feel well. And you two have not helped it at all. And I'm taking her upstairs back to bed. Well, we're not going anywhere. No, you're not. Not until I get an apology from both of you. Come on, Emma. I heard there was a tree coming today. Yeah, we got most of the decorations down. And Mom and Dad want to get some new tinsel. So where's the tree? It's being delivered. They said you couldn't walk. Faith, what is the matter with you? They said... Ah, uh, it's okay. I couldn't walk for a while, but I'm better now. You see? I walk a little funny, you know, just for a while. What's wrong with your arm? Faith, if you don't stop it, I'm gonna tell Mom. No, you're not. She's being rude and insensitive. You guys got the lecture, huh? Yeah? She's not being rude, Lou. She's just being curious, okay? And I know you don't want to be a snitch. That means we can't play air airplane? Well, yeah, because I, well, I have one arm left. Come on. See what I can do with one arm. <laughs> Hold on tight. Come on, you monkey see? Monkey bar, yeah. I hear you have some special ornaments. Can you show me? Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh. Door. Oh, it's a tree. Tree. Hey, where do you want it? Right over there. Cool. I think you can get this while I set up the stand. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Guy. Squatsy? Squatsy tubs? Yeah. Allison Stewart, eighth grade homeroom? Get out! I didn't even recognize you with all the earrings and the nose thing and all the bracelets and... The navel ring with the chain? Yeah, I, uh, unloaded some stuff. Yeah, I bet you don't even jingle when you walk now. Um, not really. I grew up. Who knew underneath all that stuff was such a hot blonde? Please. I'm Aaron. Hi. Uh, this is Squatsy Tubbs. He's, like, the only person in eighth grade who had more detention than me. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I have a, I have a bum arm. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Fine. Thank you. Do you feel like apologizing? Hell no. Yeah, me either. Well, did we make a mistake? Oh, no, no, no. That was vintage Barbara. She's under tax, so she goes on the offensive. But what about Emily? If she said mom never left the you house... You see, Emily, it's like she was completely out of it. She could have been asleep or high on cold medicine. I'm sure that, that mom can get in and out of here without Emily knowing about right, it. Since when did she and mom become good friends? Oh, I know, right? It's so bizarre. This whole thing is, is bizarre. And there's still the whole issue about the ankle brace. Don't forget that. Your mother could take a diuretic or put some lotion on or something and get that ankle bracelet off and come and go, she pleases. What has gotten into you two, and what is it you think that I have done? You forget it. I'm not going to play this game with you. Wait a second. You can't march in here and accuse me of something if I don't even know what you're talking about. You hung Cabot's stocking on the mantle at Fairwinds. You think that I did? Oh, poor Roseanne. She must be devastated. Don't. Don't play. Why would I do something like that? To drive a wedge between me and Rosanna, to get Will out of our house. You can't stand it then with another woman. That Will likes her, that, 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 that she likes Will. We're happy, Barbara. And then so am I happy. All I want is for my kids to be happy. Not without you. Thanks Hi. for coming. Oh, I'm glad to. Hi, boys. Uh... Your mother said you have some question about where she was today? Not much of a question after all, really. Oh, well, she was here with me. What? Well, I stopped by to say hello. I think you were out with Hal. You sure? Yeah. She didn't go upstairs for a long period of time, or you suddenly didn't get a, a, a phone call? No. Because we both know that she can get out of that ankle bracelet and leave. <sighs> I am sorry, but... This time, you're just wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Drink up, kid. Mm, I haven't eaten today. Good. Maybe you'll get nice and drunk and go over and tell Mike the truth. I prefer a big sloppy scene to this nauseating gallantry any Henry. day. Uh, anything is better. Anything is preferable to that miserable lie that you told about missing Simon. Could you keep your voice down? No, maybe I should make a big sloppy no, scene. Don't hmm? you dare. Okay, and anything is better than... <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm fine. Did the, did the lights just go dim? Would you cut it out? I will, if you will. What is the matter with you? What was I supposed to do, sit here in front of Jennifer and say, dump the redhead, I'm back? Oh, it's a strategic problem. I didn't realize that. Okay, I'll distract Jennifer and then no, you No, I wouldn't Yes, you say would. Any... Yes, you would. Mike is happy. You don't know that. Yes, I do. And I need to be happy too, damn it. And you're going to help me. How's that? <sighs> well, I have two choices. Mm. A, I could leave town right now. Or B, I could stay and pretend I'm happily married to Simon. Or C, none of the above. Be a friend. I'm trying, Katie. I'm just supposed to let Mike think that I saw his picture in a magazine and I couldn't stay away a minute longer? Well, you did and you couldn't and now you're here. <sighs> See? Come on. Don't you think that would melt him like jello on a hot August day? He would be back in your arms in a heartbeat. I need to look happy, not pathetic or desperate or available. Right. God forbid this should be easy. Are you gonna help me or not? What button is Katie pushing now? I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. She was crying, of course it gets to you. That is a big button. I cannot stand to see a woman cry. You know, I always feel, uh... Manipulated? Inadequate. Really? Yeah, I, I never know what to do. You know, whatever you think of to say always feels so lame. Mike, you don't have to say anything. You know, if I ever cry, all you have to do is just touch my hand. And that would be more than adequate. You could throw in a shampoo, too. That wouldn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. You ready to go? Yeah, sure. Oh, hi, kids. Are you leaving so soon? We have plans. Yeah. I hope Simon can come for Christmas. Simon will swim here if he has to. Good. Uh, you know, maybe the four of us, uh, five of us, can get together over the holidays. Yeah, maybe we can. Well, you two have a fun evening. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. You two just go out and have fun in the world. <laughs> All right, you want me to say it? <laughs> Watching Mike walk off with Jennifer totally bites. She's back. They have some of the best ornaments in here. I mean, when Holden was a kid, they used to make him down on the farm. Just... What happened? Allie. What happened? Is it that kid? Squawkwazi? I don't care if you had a pierced nose. Is that it? Look, it grew back. You can't even tell anymore, it's, Allie. It's not that. What is it? Stop it, Allie. I hate when you cry. Don't cry. It's like every minute I'm with you. I love you more. You're amazing. I'm so proud of you. I only made change on, on, on a cash register. No, I... it's more than that. You're coming alive again. I can feel it. It's because of you. John, please, just give me a few minutes, please. Just don't, don't leave. No, I'll be at the bar. Thank you. Ben, what are you doing? Do you know how guilty that makes you look? It doesn't matter. That's the price. Price for what? For faking a drug test. I should have resigned that. What, you deserve to lose your job, lose your livelihood because of a weak moment? And what about Bob? Does he deserve to lose his job because he's protecting me? 
John won't let this go. Now, what if he finds out that I faked that test and Bob covered for me? You think he's got it in for me? He's gonna go after Bob with both barrels and it's gonna cost Bob his career. I will not have that on my conscience. Ben, you're getting way ahead of yourself no, no, no. here. I mean, John is looking for a scalp. And if Aaron's family sues, then the hospital has to be able to prove that they acted quickly, that they, that they dealt with the situation. If I resign, that makes me the target, not Bob. What if you resign? And they find out about Bob anyway. You would have resigned for nothing. No, no. Then, then I resigned at Dr. Hughes's request. He did his job. Nobody can put anything on Bob. Ben, this is, this is too big. I mean, can we just think about this yes, for a minute? Yes, please. Don't fight me on this. Bob risked everything to protect me. This time, I've got his back. Let's go. Wait a second, wait a second. You walk in here and you accuse me of heinous cruelty and then you just leave, that's it? Yeah. This reeks of you, Barbara, and if I find out that you did this, you're gonna beg to be locked up again so that I can't get to you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thanks for coming over so quickly. I don't know what they would have done to me if you hadn't. Would you have earned it? What? Barbara, you and I both know that I found you the night Paul was getting married outside, trying Wait, to get that ankle bracelet I told you what off. I was doing You out told it. me you were looking to find the little girl across the street who was outside crying. A little girl who's an adult? Come on, I'm not that stupid. Okay, I've had about just as much as I can take. First my sons and now you. You sat here today and told me that you hoped Will would come home from Fairwind. Of course I did. He's my son. I mean, what mother wouldn't want that? But that doesn't mean I'm going to do something to make it happen. No. Why would I ever think that? Barbara. Are you torturing Rosanna? Ben Harris is one of the best doctors I've ever... One of the best doctors you've ever known, and you know it. I wish my ex-wives were as loyal. We're not divorced yet. Is that why you're fighting so hard against this investigation? Because you feel you have something to prove? I am as impartial as you are, Doctor. Ben Harris did nothing wrong in that operating room, and I will prove it. It's a good day, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can stand. I can... I can walk. I have a job. You know, things are gonna be okay. It's gonna be better than okay. Ellie, today was the first time that I felt normal. You know, I have a bum arm, but this is not gonna keep me from living. I have a job. <sighs> I will get back into physical therapy. I will get back into that gym. I can make myself well again. And all you had to do was want it bad enough. Well, you wanted it bad enough for both of us. And I got what I want. Now it's my turn. Well, you said you wanted help to look like the blissfully happy Mrs. Fraser. Oh, yeah, and now I have to produce Simon for the holidays. Yeah, that could be sticky. Of course, you could always tell him the truth. No, no, I'll just figure out a way to cover it up. Why 
Why are you doing this to yourself? Katie, you love him. Take a chance. I gotta go. Hold on, I'll, I'll drive you home. You can pick up Snickers on the way home, huh? Come on. Rosanna has suffered a great loss. I'm sure that she's... She's quite a handful, very upset, and I really feel very terrible for what has happened to her, but you know, the boys have taken this on as theirs. It's their choice. You're right. You are right about that. It is their choice. Now, wouldn't it be wonderful if you remembered that? Barbara, you are never going to be the parent that you claim you want to be until you're willing to let those boys go. I know that. It's going to be a lot longer journey than you've been telling yourself. They're not ready to forgive you for anything. They've made that very clear to me. Time and space. Give them some space. This is not going to be the Christmas that you've been telling yourself you're going to have. And the more you try to force it, the worse you make it. I know. Thank you for coming. Okay, boo. I'll see you Christmas Day. Will you? You bet. Everybody's gone. Yes, they are. Mm. Did you finish your tea? Yes. Good. Because I have one more errand for you. No, but soon, very soon. One more errand, and Will might be home for Christmas. Come on, Paul, say it. If, if it wasn't Mom playing tricks on Rosanna, then it has to be me. No, no, Will, I know that it couldn't have been you. Why, because I have an alibi? So does Mom. And Phyllis wasn't here, you wouldn't do it. And who's left in the house, you know? God, Rosanna. You think she's doing this to herself? On the next, as the world turns. I am center. not going to have you go running out and trying to find an apartment without any help. Well, I'll get some help then. <laughs> From whom? Your daughter hasn't been in touch with you for more than 24 hours. So if you've got a good reason for me not to be freaking out right now, let me hear it. I'm here to stay. Thing is, Julia might be too.